Hey kittens, Silver here with William the Sheepdog by Douglas Cuddle Toys and we have a big old box to open up today and uh, this is going to be kind of a companion for William because uh, I just happened to find uh, another one of the uh, large floppy sheepdogs made by Douglas. Uh, this guy goes by the name of Willard and I was really really shocked to have stumbled on him um, just on this sort of random little independent toy store in Illinois of all places. So um, yeah, I was really, really surprised um, because uh, this particular dog was actually retired in 2017. So the fact that they still uh, um, had this particular dog in stock was kind of mind blowing, but um, it was the last one they had. So I had to uh, scoop him up before I missed my opportunity. So let's get right into it and check this guy out and hopefully my little desk area will be large enough to accommodate um two plush of this size uh, because Willard is about 25 inches long himself so uh, he's gonna give uh, William a run, a run for his money in the size department okay so let's all right so they got a nice little handwritten note here a little thank you note oh you're very welcome. All right, now let's let's see. So we got them wrapped up in some in a little plastic baggie. Okay. Yeah, he's definitely gonna <laughs> need some extra space because. All right, let's get rid of this box first of all. And I'm really curious to see how these two are gonna stack up next to each other um, because. Uh, there's obviously similarities between the two, um, both being sheepdogs, but the texture of Willard's fur looks to be a lot smoother. Ooh, it's so soft. Ooh, yes, it's nice and silky. Um, William's hair is sort of, you could see, has that more kind of crimped look. Um, he's been brushed out a little bit, so it's not quite as wild uh, as it first was when I first unboxed him. Um, but this one has a definite, definitely a different feel. You can kind of see even, oh, I love the, it's that multicolored look, the sort of, uh, the under coat of gray and then the white tips. Oh boy, he is a big boy too. Okay, so let me just get him out of his plastic. All right, and let's take a look. Oop. Here he is, guys. Okay, let's let's straighten out his fur. Oh, look at the oh, look at the face. Oh, look at him. So so sweet. Oh, look at the little beardy. <laughs> so so cute. You can see his markings are different than William's. Like William has the two gray marks on either side of his face, um, where his whereas he has just the the one patch on the on the one side. So it gives it a little bit more of an asymmetrical look. Oh my goodness! Oh, what a sweet boy! And the, those eyes really pop too. The uh, he has those amber brown eyes, which um, are usually typical for the for most of the Douglas dogs. And he also has the faux leather nose. And his legs are a little bit shorter than William's. William's kind of a, he's come out more, he's more in a, he's a little bit on the floppier side, um, William. But Willard is definitely still floppy as well in his own right. Um, let's see, of course he doesn't, he does not have a tail since he is a sheepdog. Um, that's, the same hold, holds true for for William as well. And let's take a look at his tush tag and his hang tag. So here we go. Willard. Now he's the large version. There actually is a small version of Willard as well. Um, but I believe he's a standing version, not really floppy at all. Um, but very, very similar look uh, to this Willard. Oh my goodness, I absolutely adore his face. Look at that, <laughs> look at, the face is just so, so sweet, which is always true of Douglas dogs. I mean, just across the board, but 
I never fail to, to tire of it. It's, <laughs> it's so, so adorable. And let's see, he's got a, I don't, I'm not feeling any beans. It's mostly just uh, some nice squishy material, but there are beans in the paws to weight them. Let's take a look at his underside too. So he's, he's, he's you can see he's got the mostly uh, the gray and white multicolor fur, but uh, the ends of the back feet are all white, as are the front feet and the chest area. And you can see sort of the uh, spot pattern right there. Oh, but he's so, so nice. I'm really happy to have found this guy. And he's, he's, I was having a really hard time just finding any kind of non-stock photos of him in general. Um, I know he was introduced, I think it was the fall of 2014. Um, and as I said, he was retired in 2017. So, um, so again, one of those uh, retired plush that just is not as easy to find anymore as he used to be. Um, so I feel really fortunate to have found him uh, in a very unlikely spot. And uh, I think William's going to be very happy uh, <laughs> having a, uh, another dog of his breed to spend some time with. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing Willard. And I will be back again with your next dose of plush goodness very soon. Bye, everybody.